Good challenge, good win on Samaras. That was important. And now he's released Gonsalves. He can attack Kelvin Wilson, perhaps. Stephen Thompson is up there as well. McGowan. Teal. Flipped forward by Newton. Oh, it's gone in! It's the debut boy, Gonsalves, who pokes St. Mirren into a sensational lead at the National Stadium. What a start for the young Portuguese lad. Absolutely brilliant. He's involved in the move early. When it comes out to the right, he does what every good striker should do. Get yourself in the danger area. See if there's half a chance coming. And when the ball does eventually come in, it's just clipped in here. He finds a bit of space and does really well to deflect that on target. Just a start that Danny Lennon was looking for. Terrific finish, Gonçalves. In off the woodwork. And it's the two new guys, the Sevillian fans won't know too much about Connor Newton on loan from Newcastle. In for Gonçalves on the stretch. And he makes the same impact Michael and Goo did for Hearts yesterday. Brown. Celtic he just sense coming more and more into the game. And Hooper! It's the hook. Well, he's on fire just now in terms of goal scoring. And he probably believes he should have buried that one. Jim Goodwin under pressure. Great touch, Gary Hooper. Goes for power. Just doesn't get over the ball. Clever ball through from Scott Brown. Jim Goodwin backtracking. Can't get enough on it. And then Gary Hooper gets the side to go. You expect him to score. Here comes Celtic again. And Samaras! It's the crossbar this time. Uh, chances are coming. Hooper had one. Scott Brown had one. And now I think Samaras should score. It's a clever ball in. Samaras has pulled away onto David Van Zanten. A mismatch in terms of height. And when the ball comes in here, he gets up early. Gets his head on it. I think Van Zanten does just enough to get underneath him. To make it difficult for Samaras to get the ball down. But still a chance gone. Getting towards the final minute of the first half. Sliced by Newton. Ledley finds Hooper. He finds Lassad. Brown has made a good run. Right hand side of the penalty area. Hooper! It's heartbreak for St. Mirren. But it's joy for Celtic. As Gary Hooper slaps home his 23rd goal of the season. He's the man of the moment. And that's why. What a time to score for Celtic. And what a quality goal. When the ball comes out to Scott Brown, he's still got plenty to do, but what about this for a ball in? Gary Hooper pulls away, perfect, into that area, so difficult for defenders. Goalkeeper can't come because there's so much pace on the ball, and absolutely perfect for Gary Hooper. When a ball like that comes into the penalty area for Celtic, you can pretty much put your mortgage on Gary Hooper being there to finish it off as he has been so often since he arrived from Scunthorpe. Matthews with a long throw, away by Goodwin, and they have Keir. Penalty Celtic, handball is given against Jim Goodwin, and Willie Collum is going to take action as well against the St Mirren skipper. Yellow card, but Celtic have a penalty and a chance to turn this game round. He wins the initial header. But realise it's not a good one. Lassad's going to pull the trigger. He throws himself in. I mean, I'm not sure what on earth they can do to get out the road of that. You know, the ball's come fizzing at him. It's come up. I think it's hit him on the chest, then on the arm. And that's a tough one for some of Charlie Mulgrew is entrusted with this task. The task of putting Celtic in front in a game they were behind in. It is Mulgrew against Samson. Good save. The Saints keeper, really good save, and it stays 1-1. Brilliant from the goalkeeper. You complain about the penalty all you like, but Charlie Mulgrew, what a chance he had! But goalkeeper gets right and got a really strong hand on it, and real chance going for Celtic. And what a lift that is going to give St. Mirren. Away by Ledley Thompson, he got his head onto it. Oh, super handball, it was handball, and St Mirren have a penalty kick. 
almost identical to the one at the opposite side but I think the referee this time when he sees Charlie McGrew's hands are up he has no option but to give the penalty kick and having seen the goalkeeper save one can St Mirren now fire home one of their own Charlie Mulgrew missed his penalty Paul McGowan the former Celtic player didn't get a chance under Neil Lennon scores Paul McGowan sends St Mirren into League Cup Dreamland with as cool a penalty as you will see a perfect from this one just have a look check where the goalkeeper is going to go and knock it in the other corner fabulous composure from the St Mirren midfielder Zalisco goes right Paul goes left terrific penalty kick the Celtic fans right now sit in silence and watch and hope that the damage doesn't get any worse from this Graham Carey free kick. Away by Wilson. Teal. Still options waiting in the middle for St Mirren. Oh, they have another one! It's stunning! It's absolutely stunning at Hampton Park! And it's Stephen Thompson who scores his 13th goal of the season! And that might just be the goal that takes St Mirren into the League Cup final! Sensational! But the danger was gone there, Kelvin Wilson, decent header out, cover ball in here now, get it in early, but Stephen Thompson, oh, he's still got so much work to do, that is an absolute peach, look at Zaluska, he'll only give it half it, kind of goes through the goalkeeper, but take nothing away from the striker, what a great hit. Wow, St Mirren 3, Celtic 1, who would have thought this? Mulgrew and Izagiri. It's Mulgrew! Well, he's unlucky. It's a decent header, but it's just wide of the goalkeeper's right hand post. And uh, Dick Samson, I think, had it covered anyway. Anything Celtic get now would be consolation. Charlie Mulgrew. Headed clear again, Singer and have defended stoutly all day. Commons teeing it up. And it has gone in, they've got one back. It's Mulgrew, but surely that's come too late for Celtic. It has done! It has done! St Mirren are coming back to Hampton. They will come back for the final, where they will play Hearts on March the 17th. And Danny Lennon has a chance to write himself into St Mirren folklore. It finishes here at Hampden Park with St Mirren coming back to face Hearts in the final in March. St Mirren 3, Celtic 2.